Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vim PF, and today on the show, we're going to be traveling over to India and checking out some Amra. Before we get into that, I'd just like to say uh, thanks to everyone who watched my 1,000 subscriber videos. I uh, did miss out two channels, two small channels I did want to shout out, and I forgot to mention them in the last video. So uh, they are JDC Drinks and the Spirit Safe. One's from Australia, one's from Canada. I'll put links in the description below and maybe some cards. Do check them out, they're both worth listening to. So going on to the Amrit, this is the Amrit Fusion. And uh, you may recognize these little wee bottles. This was a sample sent to me by Roy at Aquavite as part of a blind tasting session that we did and uh, he edited and uh, I put up on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, do check that video out. It's absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed doing it. But um, this thing is uh, Indian whiskey. Now, the Indians tend to drink a lot more whiskey, this is whiskey overall, than any other country on the planet. You know, they uh, one of the most sold whiskies in the world is an Indian blend. And I think the second most sold whiskey in the world is an Indian blend. And out of the top 50, like a good proportion of them are Indian blends. Single malt, however, is a fairly new thing. So 80s, that kind of thing, right? So this is the Amrit Single Malt Fusion. And that means it is created from 75% Indian barley, which was sourced from sort of northern India. And the other 25% is peated Scottish barley. Now, there is some confusion about why it's still called a single malt. Well, they ship in the actual barley itself. So we're talking about the grain now. And they, they use that to distill at Amrut. So it's still a single malt. It's a no age statement. We don't know how young it is, but it's very well presented. It's a 50% ABV, 100 proof. It's, uh, it's, it's probably quite young, but um, the uh, climate over there, just like the Taiwanese stuff like Kavalan, the climate means that the Angel Series is really quite large. It's like 15% every year. So they don't really have much opportunity to age it anyway. But because of the drastic difference in temperature between day and night and the seasons, the aging process happens a lot faster than it does in a cold climate like Scotland or elsewhere. It's, uh, it's kind of similar to the kind of bourbon effect, you know, in, in Kentucky, it's, it's hot there in the summer and it really does force the liquid into the wood and back out again in, in the nighttime. So what you get is this no age statement uh, and about a 50 pound a bottle but well presented and uh, really quite quite nice looking. Let's uh, finish talking about the whiskey and actually try some, shall we? So straight away on the nose, there's the slightest hint of that peat. It's not overwhelming at all. It's but it's sweet. It's you get that those kind of caramels you used to, a bit of vanillas. Yeah, hardly any peat at all. So when you see the word peated, if you're not a fan of the peated, don't be put off by this. Maybe uh, try it at a festival or something like that. Let's have a taste. Mm. You do get more of that peat on the tongue, that's for sure. But it's, it's, I mean, really quite pleasant. It's not a medicinal pea, it's not an ashtray pea, it's not even a bonfire pea, it's just, it's just a touch smoky. It's like your Highland Park kind of peaty. Less than that even. So even though it's 25% peated barley, the actual final peated isn't 25% peated at all. It's, it's much, much less. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting some of them kind of cereals and the barley's coming through. There's kind of like on the finish, which is like medium to longy, quite nice, quite spicy. Some of that kind of maltiness is portrayed its age a little bit. I I wouldn't I wouldn't put a very high age on it at all. But that said, I don't think anyone who would buy it would be disappointed. It's 
Uh, perfectly acceptable whiskey. 50 quid, it's quite a high asking price. But I genuinely don't think I'd be disappointed if I bought it. I think I might buy a bottle and then move on to something else. But it's just a nice, well-balanced, well-rounded dram. If it were maybe £10 cheaper, it would be an absolute steal. Uh, 50 quid, it's pretty good, let's say. Mm. Highly enjoyable. And yet another thing to scratch off on the old map up here, which is superb. Hopefully more of that's going to go as the year goes on. Thanks for watching the video. It's been an absolute pleasure to try the uh, Amaret Fusion. Thanks to Roy Acquavite for that. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, if you do want to support the channel, I have a Patreon page that's in the description below. Please do check it out and consider donating. Thank you.